Hello. Uh, three really good questions people have sent in to the lockdown bunker. First of them comes from uh, Peter in Newcastle. Has there been anything similar to this COVID-19 experience in your lifetime, John? He says, well, the answer is actually technically yes, because I was born in 1944. And I think that is the last kind of comparable event, really. Something that touched every single person in the country and far beyond this country too. Uh, there have been other momentary things in Britain, um, the coronation in 1953, um, the big, some of the big um, uh, incidents of the world, 9-11, for instance, they brought us together for a moment, but they didn't change our lives, at least they didn't change our, our daily pattern of existence uh, in the same way, um, bringing us together and so forth. Um, there was, of course, the 2008 financial crash. But again, a lot of people weren't too affected by it or didn't realise they were being affected by it. Um, this is ultra different. Uh, the International Labour Organisation just said that perhaps half the people in the entire world will lose their jobs as a result of what's happened. So the answer, Peter, is absolutely nothing like this has happened before that I can remember. Uh, Isabel from Glasgow, is any country emerging from this crisis more powerful than when it started? Well, uh, the United States, Europe, Britain, all diminished by it. Um, it seems to have finished that BRICS idea, if you remember, uh, the, the five countries um, Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China and South Africa. Most of those countries have done really badly in the crisis. So uh, they're not doing it. There is one exception, of course, China. And China really is starting to feel its oats. It's getting more aggressive, um, more assertive at any rate, all the way around the, the world. Uh, it, I noticed that in the global news, which is its uh, mouthpiece, English language mouthpiece in Beijing, um, it was talking about Australia the other day as a piece of chewing gum under uh, under Chinese, China's boot. I, I mean, this kind of offensive stuff is really, really new. And it came in with, actually, I had just happened to be having my morning coffee out of a Xi Jinping um, China mug that I got when I was in Be Be Beijing last. But um, it, it's his influence. Uh, just the other day, we had this uh, confrontation between an American ship and Chinese uh, naval ships in the South China Sea. China claims to have won it. America claims not to have noticed that anything happened which is probably a sign that something did happen quite uh, quite heavily. A lot of countries in the area are very nervous and condemning China. But one interesting thing about the future, Malaysia, which gets big loans and big help from China, has said absolutely nothing about it. So I think, yeah, China's the big winner. Uh, Charlotte from Yorkshire, finally. How are you coping at home during social distancing? What are your favourite keep sane activities? Well, they don't seem to have succeeded or whatever they are. Are you watching any good box sets? Well, I'm basically a, a writer, so it kind of validates what I do to sit here and keep bashing away. I'm writing, finishing a novel. I've got to get that done in a month, uh, by next month, that is. Um, I do this YouTube channel and I'm working at just at the moment uh, on a, a big takeout for the 10 o'clock news, television 10 o'clock news uh, about the whole crisis worldwide. And I've got my um, weekly uh, essay that I do for the Radio 4 Today programme. Um, so I, I don't even have as much time as I used to for, for reading. At around 7.30 in the evening, 
my wife and I slumped down exhausted. She works uh, all the time, as far as I can see, partly helping me and partly uh, sorting out the house and everything to do with it. Uh, we slumped down and we watch, what do we watch? Uh, Gomorrah, um, pretty rough stuff that, but uh, still fascinating. Um, Homeland, of course. Um, we rather like the Van der Valk um, television detective series. And then at about nine o'clock, uh, our kid uh, finishes his um, PlayStation activities, uh, which he does in the evenings, and he comes down. And then my wife usually shimmers off upstairs because I have to watch Bad Education with him and uh, Oh, Family Guy. Um, well... Anyway, he likes it, and so I like it too. And, of course, lots and lots of films, including Contagion. Thanks very much, and see you soon, I hope.